With the introduction of the OnePlus 8 series, the OnePlus 7 Pro has gotten a hefty price cut and is now priced to compete with the OnePlus 8. In my previous coverage of the OnePlus 8, a lot of you guys asked me if they should go for the OnePlus 7 Pro from last year or get the OnePlus 8. I am Rohan from Techie Tech Tech and today let's decide which phone deserves a place in your pocket. Here we go. The OnePlus 7 Pro was my favorite phone from last year. It is built like a premium flagship phone and the notchless, bezel-less display just gives it a unique appeal. Of course, that comes at the cost of having a mechanical pop-up selfie camera which adds a lot of weight to the device. There is also the fear of the mechanical components breaking down with wear and tear, although there haven't been any issues after my one full year of usage. The OnePlus 7 Pro is large, wide and heavy compared to the narrow and light OnePlus 8. The OnePlus 8 has a punch hole selfie camera which makes it lighter. Although it is not a compact phone, the OnePlus 8 is definitely easier to manage one-handed compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro. I also much prefer the matte aluminum bands on my glacial green OnePlus 8 compared to the glossy ones on this gray OnePlus 7 Pro. But overall, When it comes to the build quality and the in-hand feel, both these phones feel incredibly premium and very well built. If you're looking for a larger phone, the OnePlus 7 Pro is your pick, while the OnePlus 8 is for those who prioritize one-handed usage. Moving on to the display, both the phones have a 90 Hz refresh rate, although the OnePlus 7 Pro does have a higher resolution. To my eyes, the difference in sharpness is barely noticeable one difference that is noticeable is how much better the wider display on the OnePlus 7 Pro is for watching videos when it comes to color and saturation again both these phones are very similar although if i have to pick one i will give a slight edge to the OnePlus 7 Pro both the phones face an equal amount of issues with palm rejection so again I cannot pick a winner or a loser here. Overall, when it comes to the display, both phones provide excellent display panels. Although, if I had to pick one, I'll go for the OnePlus 7 Pro for the clean, no-notch look. Talking about the performance, both phones run on Oxygen OS, although the OnePlus 8 does have a few add-ons like a cool new fingerprint animation. and the ability to switch to Google's feed on the home screen instead of OnePlus's own but pure performance wise both these phones excel at gaming multitasking memory management and of course day to day usage one thing i would like to point out is that while both these phones do perform equally today two or three years down the line the OnePlus 8 will be a better performer because of its newer generation processor So if you're going to get one and use them for the long haul like 3 4 years I would strongly suggest going for the OnePlus 8. It has the newer processor and it will also get an year more of software updates. Moving on to the camera comparison, let's talk about the core hardware first. The OnePlus 7 Pro has an edge in terms of optics thanks to the telephoto lens and the laser autofocus. On the other hand, The OnePlus 8 has a 2 megapixel macro lens and uses hybrid zoom both of which the OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't have. The primary rear and the front camera use the same sensor in both the phones so basically for most of your photos it all comes down to image processing. Talking about the photos first both the phones take fairly good pictures but the OnePlus 8 wins at better color rendering and exposure. This doesn't mean that the OnePlus 7 Pro is bad necessarily but that the pictures shot with the 7 Pro are sharp but they go overboard on contrast. The OnePlus 8 has better noise processing both indoors and low light conditions. Both take decent selfies but the OnePlus 7 Pro has a pop-up selfie camera 
which might be an issue for some people. The OnePlus 8 isn't as good as the OnePlus 7 Pro when it comes to skin tones. But it can make up for it with the built-in filters, it's just that right out of the viewfinder, the OnePlus 7 Pro captures better skin tones, while in the OnePlus 8 you will have to do some sort of post-processing to get the desirable results. The 7 Pro takes better portraits thanks to the 3x telephoto lens, but the OnePlus 8 also does a pretty good job at subject separation considering it does not have a telephoto lens or a depth sensor. Low light performance is quite similar but the OnePlus 8 performs better thanks to the improved noise processing that we talked about earlier. Coming to the videos, both perform similarly when it comes to shooting videos either in 1080p or in 4K in different frame rates. Although I love the 21 to 9 aspect ratio or cine video mode in the OnePlus 8, it's fun to watch these videos especially on a smartphone. The OnePlus 8 video autofocus is a bit slower compared to the 7 Pro but that is to be expected because the OnePlus 8 lacks the laser autofocus module that the OnePlus 7 Pro has. The super stable mode has actually gotten significantly better on the OnePlus 8 when you compare it to the OnePlus 7 series of smartphones. The caveat with the OnePlus 8 is definitely the camera app which is not optimized at all and causes a lot of overheating and just crashes randomly every other time. In short, the camera performance is somewhat the same but the OnePlus 8 gets more points for better image processing especially for improved HDR and color rendering. But the camera app experience just leaves us our taste because it's actually a mess and it gets really frustrating to use over time. Hopefully, this should be fixed in future software updates. When it comes to the battery life, I'm actually not sure how to make a fair comparison here. My fresh, recently unboxed OnePlus 8 lasts for a day to a day and a half of mid to heavy usage. That is the exact same battery life I was getting with the OnePlus 7 Pro when I got it last year and it was fresh and brand new. But in the present moment, after an year of usage, the OnePlus 7 Pro can easily last a day but cannot go beyond that. It comfortably lasts from the morning to the night but I would have to charge it by then which is not the case with the OnePlus 8. So I guess if you are buying both of them new, expect very similar battery life. In real life though, both phones support OnePlus's fast warp charging which is basically a great solution to all battery problems. Both phones do not have support for wireless charging so do keep that in mind if you are someone who has to have that feature. Other than that, the fingerprint sensors on both these phones appear to be the same hardware wise which means they are both fast, accurate and reliable. There is a slight difference in the stereo speaker setup wherein the OnePlus 8 actually sounds better to my ears although the difference is not that significant. There is a somewhat significant difference when it comes to call quality. During phone calls, the caller always sounded better on the OnePlus 8 and even they could tell that my voice sounded clearer when I was using the OnePlus 8 to talk. The earpiece on the OnePlus 7 Pro is a bit more muffled in comparison. Both phones are equally good at holding on to a signal in my experience. Finally, in conclusion, I would like to say that if I were a consumer looking to choose between the two of these phones today, I would definitely pick the OnePlus 8. It will last longer, will perform better and is just an overall brilliant phone. If you are a OnePlus 7 Pro user who's thinking of upgrading to the OnePlus 8 or even the 8 Pro, I would strongly recommend against it. See, there are differences between the two but those only come into account when you're looking to pick either of the two. If you already have one, it makes no sense to spend more money and upgrade to the other one because the changes are just so so very subtle. So I would recommend that you save your money and wait till at least the OnePlus 9 comes out. So this is it guys, I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel.
I am Rohan from Techie Tech Tech and I will see you in the next video. Bye.